anti-aircraft defense of mobile units continues to be a major challenge. The radar horizon and terrain create many blind spots, which makes it difficult for even the most modern stationary anti-aircraft systems to protect troops moving in open terrain. Added to this is the proliferation of increasingly smaller targets, such as small civilian drones fitted with explosives, and the result of this is what we are seeing in recent conflicts, where everything from dismounted infantry to the most advanced armored vehicles are becoming increasingly easy targets. Observing this gap and potential threat, the Swedish company Saab developed the Mshorad, a fully mobile low-altitude anti-aircraft system that is based on the proven RBS-70 missile. The Mshorad is structured in two parts. The first comprises a radar and command post, while the second comprises the firing units. The radar used is the Giraffe-1X. This active electronically scanned array radar operates in the X-band and has an update rate of just one second, it performs a full 360-degree scan once per second. The maximum range of this radar, certainly for large targets, is up to 75 kilometers. Light fighters can be detected between 20 and 40 kilometers and a small commercial drone the size of a milk carton can be detected up to 4 kilometers away. It also has the ability to track rockets and artillery shells. An interesting highlight of this radar is a special mode for detecting slow, low-flying targets. Target types with these characteristics include drones and helicopters, which, due to their flight profile, end up being difficult to detect. The firing unit consists of a turret with a targeting and guidance system and three ready-to-use units of the iconic RBS-70 missile. This missile is laser-guided, which provides some advantages, such as immunity to any type of electronic countermeasure, in addition to the ability to attack surface targets such as other vehicles. The RBS-70 can intercept targets up to 9 kilometers away and 5,000 meters high and reaches a maximum speed of Mach 2. When used against surface targets, the RBS-70 can pierce more than 200 millimeters of armor, which is enough to destroy any light armored vehicle and provides greater flexibility to the system. It is equipped with a fragmentation warhead associated with a proximity fuse, which ensures its detonation even if there is no direct impact on the target, a very important capability, especially when combating small aerial targets. The Mshorad operates as follows. The radar vehicle is located in a strategic position or moves alongside other units, scanning the airspace with its radar. As soon as a threat is detected and classified by the radar, it distributes it among the firing units via a communication link, which receive the targets with the azimuth and elevation information. The firing unit, which accompanies the mobile units, then tracks the target with its optical system directing the laser that guides the missiles in its direction. The shot is fired and the target is destroyed in a few seconds. The Mshorad can be used against fighter jets, helicopters, drones, missiles, guided bombs and also artillery projectiles, in addition to the aforementioned ability to engage surface targets. In development tests, Mshorad managed to intercept a small civilian drone, the Matt Rice 300 model, at a distance of 2,000 meters, something that would certainly not be possible with an infrared-guided manpad, such as the Stinger or Mistral, due to the very low thermal signature produced by the electric motors of this small drone. The vehicle that serves as the firing unit also carries additional missiles for reloading. The total number of additional missiles carried depends on the dimensions of the vehicle used as the base of the system, but for medium-sized vehicles it is possible to carry a full reload of three missiles without much difficulty. For a battery with a traditional composition of one radar vehicle and four combat vehicles, it would be possible to carry 12 missiles ready for use with at least another 12 missiles as reload. The complete reloading of the system takes less than three minutes and is done by the crew itself, without the need for any special support vehicle. An interesting detail of the Mshorad is that, in addition to the reloading missiles, the vehicle that serves as a firing unit also carries an RBS-70 tripod, so that the sight and missiles can be removed from the top of the vehicle and transformed into a conventional launcher. 
This flexibility allows the system to be used from places where a vehicle cannot reach, such as the top of a hill or, if used in built-up areas, the top of a building. Mshorad has not yet made its combat debut, but the RBS-70 man pad, from which the system is derived and which has essentially the same capabilities in terms of missile performance and guidance system, has demonstrated its value in the current conflict in Ukraine. The RBS-70 is credited with destroying surveillance and kamikaze drones, as well as advanced attack helicopters, such as the Ka-52, and fighter bombers, such as the Su-25 and Su-24. The mission of this system is to meet the high demand for sophisticated low-altitude air defense systems capable of providing escort for mobile units against both traditional threats, such as attack aircraft and helicopters, as well as emerging asymmetric threats, such as civilian drones armed with explosives. As a further development of a system already proven, such as the RBS-70, Shorad will certainly fulfill its mission with great success. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.